Welcome to the second tutorial of uh, FreeCAD. In this uh, session, we will take a look at uh, making this spring. So, this is what our final result will look like. We start with a new file and uh, the method we will be following is we will create a helix first which will form the path of the spring and then we will make a circle and make the circle follow the path which will create the spring. Uh, we are right now in the part uh, workbench and from here we choose the helix. For the pitch we will give a 5 mm pitch and height 50 and the radius of 10. You press create and if you go to isometric view you will see the path has been formed. Press close and now the next step is to draw the circle which will take the path for which we go to the path design, take sketch, take the XZ plane, press ok, choose a circle hover over the axis and as the axis turns its color to yellow, click and then drag to draw the circle. Left click and then right click. Select the surface of the circle 1.5. Now select the center of the circle hold the command key and press the center of the axis and give a distance of 10 <coughs> because we have given the helix a uh, radius of 10 and it will move the circle to the starting point of the helix. Press close, go to models, select the part word bench and you see an option called sweep. Select the sweep utility. For profiles, we will choose the sketch, which is the circle. And now we have to choose the path, sweep path, which is the helix. Now, this helix is formed in segments. So, we will have to hold down the command key and select the rest. So, we will first select the first segment and keep holding the command key and select the rest of the segments. And once you have done that press done and press create solid and check this option too and press ok. You can choose shaded to get a smoother view and now we have the spring. If you want to add a color to it, click on one of the segments, right click, plus appearance and you can choose a color that you desire. So, this completes our second tutorial on making a coil spring. Thank you.